Hey guys and girls, in this video we're gonna take a look at the best home computers. I have made my research and this list reflects my personal opinion and I have listed products based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer so if you're looking for an entry-level option or the best product money can buy we may have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned be sure to check the links in the description down below. The products mentioned are in no exact order so be sure to stay till the end so you don't miss anything. Also if you want a chance to win one of the home computers in the video just subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave a comment with the hidden word in the video. We will pick a winner and notify him when we reach 5,000 likes. And don't forget to join our community telegram channel linked in the description so we can contact you if you win. Okay, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best home computers on the market right now. Coming at number 10 we've got the Microsoft Surface Studio 2. With 13.5 million pixels packed into a 28 inches touchscreen display, the Microsoft Surface Studio 2 offers unprecedented detailing for digital art, photography, and filmmaking. The display supports the sRGB and DCI-P3 color gamuts, and a second 4 Kelvin UHD display may be connected for a multi-monitor arrangement. Furthermore, the display is attached to a hinge base that is easily adjustable with just one hand to practically any angle. The front-facing camera records and streams in 1080p HD, and the dual speakers utilize Dolby Sounds technology to provide deep, rich audio. Your voice will be clearly heard everywhere thanks to its dual microphone array, which also integrates with Cortana for hands-free computer usage. You have speedy boot times and file access on the desktop thanks to a solid state drive with up to 2 terabytes of storage. Number 9. Acer Aspire TC The Acer Aspire TC is a budget-friendly desktop that still delivers all the power you need for a typical workday. It has an Intel Core i5-9400 CPU and 8GB of RAM for speedy file access and loading times. You can increase the RAM up to 32GB for more memory. A 1TB hard disk is also included, giving you enough room for Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, and other files. Additionally, you may record and broadcast video thanks to the integrated Intel UHD 630 graphics. In addition to a USB-C port for the newest gadgets, the front of the PC tower contains an SD card reader for easily transferring media from smartphones or cameras. Seven USB 3.1 ports are located on the back of the tower, allowing users to connect peripherals, external memory storage, and other devices. Coming at number 8 Alienware Aurora R13. Since so much of Alienware's business is focused on making you a PC with the particular components you desire, a judgment of the Aurora R13 is largely a judgment of the new Legend 2.0 chassis. And we can confirm that the Aurora R13's new appearance is a hit after working, playing, and tinkering with our review device for a few weeks. Even after playing in 4 Kelvin for hours, the redesigned chassis is simple to access, has lots of ports, and has enough ventilation that I didn't detect much more than a gentle hum and pleasant warmth coming from the PC. The computer is a bit heavy to move around or set down on a desk because it may weigh up to 35 pounds. However, if your desk has room for it, the futuristic style and programmable RGB lighting are sure to draw attention. Coming at number 7 iMac M1 2021. With a body so tiny and completely redesigned by Apple, the iMac might easily be mistaken for an iPad with a large screen. It now has the same lightning-fast M1 CPU as Apple's late 2020 MacBook Air and Mac Mini, and the former 21.5 inches screen has been replaced by a stunning 24 inches model. The rainbow of possible hues, which harken back to the 1999 iMac G3 and the 1080p webcam, which is a significant improvement over the MacBook 720p model, are pleasant additions. Just be prepared to spend up for the myriad storage and accessory upgrades and you will just be fine with this one. Number 6. Lenovo Legion Tower 5i Gaming desktops can be hefty, opulent devices with side panel windows that display intricately RGB-lit components and astronomical pricing. Lenovo's Legion Tower 5i fails on that last point because it costs less than $1,000, but it surprises everyone by keeping up with the big boys in other areas. It features a pair of 6s instead of 4s, a 6-core Intel Core i5 processor instead of a quad-core processor, and a 6 gigabytes. 
NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super Graphics Card in place of a 4GB GPU. Its transparent side displays three illumination zones, with the Lenovo logo on the front adding a fourth. The Legion Tower 5i is a fantastic gaming deal, despite the fact that it lacks a front-mounted USB-C connector, and you'll probably want to update its 8GB of regular RAM to 12GB or 16GB. It will be the best choice for mid-level gamers with modest spending power. Coming in at number 5, HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop. There aren't many gaming PCs available for under $1,000 right now, and Dell discontinued the G5 Gaming Desktop, which was our prior pick for this position. The HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop stands out as the lone exception. This Pavilion laptop has power where it counts, even though it isn't as powerful as a device with top specs, and it costs as little as $700. This desktop PC, unlike comparable devices, includes an AMD Ryzen APU regardless of your configuration. Starting with an AMD Ryzen 35300G and AMD RX 550, the base model is equipped. You can purchase the Pavilion Gaming Desktop with an AMD Radeon RX 550 or NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super if you can stretch your budget. Plus, you start out with an operating system, saving you some extra money. It's an excellent choice for 1080p gamers and students who don't want to break the bank purchasing a PC, especially given the current state of graphics card prices. The majority of competing devices are more expensive, less powerful, and some don't even have discrete graphics cards. Given its budget, the HP Pavilion Gaming PC doesn't make many concessions, which is difficult to find these days. Coming at number 4, Apple iMac 27 inches. The Apple iMac 27 inches is the company's final all-in-one computer powered by Intel, yet it still offers more than enough power for the majority of users. The 27 inches iMac features AMD Radeon Pro 5000 series graphics, Intel 10th generation processors, and, possibly most significantly, a 1080p webcam which is a significant improvement over the 720p cameras used in earlier iMacs. The 2020 iMac also had improved speakers and a glare-reducing nano-texture display as options. The iMac's design is unaltered, with substantial bezels around the screen and a noticeable aluminum chin below the display, but the screen in question is a Retina 5 Kelvin display with P3 wide color gamut compatibility and 5120x2880 pixels of brilliant detail. It also has true tone color temperature adjustment, which automatically shifts the color on screen to look best for the ambient light in the room. Number 3. HP Omen 45 Liters The HP Omen 45 Liters builds on the features that made the Omen 30 Liters unique. Similar to its smaller sibling, the Omen 45 Liters has a tool-free casing design that makes it possible to update any of the internal components. HP actually sells the Omen 45 Liters case on its own because it likes the design so much. The inventive cryo chamber design is one factor in this. The primary chamber is divided from the integrated liquid cooler, giving it clear access to air on all sides. As a result, the Omen 45 liters experiences substantially lower temperatures and reduced fan noise. AMD Ryzen 7 5800X and NVIDIA RTX 3060 start at $1,800, but prices can go significantly higher. At the top end, an Intel Core in need to 12,900 Kelvin and NVIDIA RTX 3090 can cost up to $4,000 or more. The Omen 45 liters from HP comes with an AMD or NVIDIA graphics card in addition to an AMD or Intel processor, which is fantastic for designs and gaming. Coming at number 2, HP NV34 All-in-One. Did we just suggest it would be wonderful to have a sharper screen? In addition to a large 5 Kelvin display with panoramic 5120 by 2160 pixel resolution and a 16 megapixel webcam that magnetically snaps almost anywhere along the top or either side of the screen to make you look your best, HP's NV34 All-in-One computer offers a variety of other features. Because it uses a separate NVIDIA GeForce GPU rather of the more common integrated graphics, it performs well even for mid-level gaming. It also features 
all the ports, RAM, and storage you'll likely need, as well as a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. There aren't many high-end all-in-one PCs available now that Apple has discontinued the 27-inches Retina Display iMac, but the NV34 does a good job of filling that void. Although not cheap, it is not out of reach, and its widescreen 21 to 9 aspect ratio is just as effective for organizing many app windows for maximum productivity as a dual monitor arrangement. Number 1. Dell XPS 8930 The greatest experience for business PCs is offered by the Dell XPS 8930 Special Edition Desktop, which can be set with a 1 or 2 terabytes hard drive to hold all of your work files and a 512 gigabytes SSD for lightning fast boot speeds. This option is fantastic for assembling and rendering animation and 3D movies because it offers up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. The desktop comes equipped with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 20 2070 Super Graphics Card and an Intel Core i9-9900 processor, which is the 9th generation. There are numerous USB-C and USB type of connections on the front and back of the PC tower for connecting accessories and external memory. The two additional HDD slots allow you to increase internal memory capacity as well. Plus, this PC is VR ready. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best home computers. Hope to see you in the next video. Let let us know in the comments what is your favorite one. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.